All right, 15.7 is all about the divergence theorem. Basically what a divergence, what the divergence theorem is, is it's a three-dimensional version of Green's theorem. All right, so real quick, let's, re let's just review for a second what Green's theorem says. Green's theorem is this. Green's theorem says that when you have the integral of f dotted with dr, and that's a line integral of a vector field, um, another way you can calculate rather than calculating it directly is by doing a double integral of the quantity um, dn dx minus dm dy over an area. Okay, and this has to be on a closed curve, meaning it starts and ends at the same place, because it has to enclose an area or a region inside the curve. Okay, now over here we're going to do the divergence theorem. Okay, the divergence theorem is, so this is in two dimensions, this is now going to be in three dimensions. So we're doing a double integral of f dotted with n over some surface is equal to a triple integral of the divergence of f over a volume. Okay, so for this one, you have a curve that encloses a region, a curve in two dimensions that encloses a region. Here we have a surface in three dimensions that encloses a volume. So I'm going to go to another page and I'm going to draw this out real quick. We've got Green's theorem that says this, Divergence theorem says this. Just to remind you, you might have a curve that goes like this and it has to be a closed curve. This is the positive orientation going counterclockwise, but it encloses this region inside. Okay, So this is over a curve and this is um, over some region, and this would be the region in here, okay? The divergence theorem is going to look something like this. So you're going to be in three dimensions, x, y, and z. So a classic ver example of this would be a sphere or even an ellipsoid, but it doesn't have to be. I'm going to draw something a little bit more irregular shaped. Let's say you've got this thing, but it's a three-dimensional thing. And so that goes around the back. Hopefully, you can kind of see this. This goes to the front, and then this around the back. And this thing would be your surface, but your surface encloses some volume inside of that surface. Okay? It has to be enclosed. So this thing, E, is sometimes called a three-dimensional solid because you're integrating the triple integral of the divergence of F over that entire solid. And then this would be the surface, that surface that encloses the region. Okay? So let's go back to the formulas, okay, and remember how we calculated this. What this really was, we wanted the component of f, okay, so if we look at this, we, we have some kind of a vector field flowing through here. And we're finding the amount of work, if we start here, we have to go around and end here. The amount of work done by the vector field in moving this particle along this curve through this vector field, okay? So what we want to know is the component of f that is in the direction of the tangent over that curve, right? Or another way to calculate that is your f dotted with the tangent, the unit tangent is r prime of t over magnitude of r prime of t, um, and then the ds is the magnitude of r prime of t dt, so these you cancel, you get integral of f dotted with dr dt, or r prime of t dt. Okay, so another way to look at this, the f, since it's just two dimensions, it's m comma n comma zero, or you don't even need the comma zero. And r prime of t is your dx dt, and your dy dt over your dt. If you multiply this out and think about these dt's canceling here, another way that we see this thing is often in the form of m dx plus uh, n dy. Okay, 
and that's equal to, writing this down, the double integral of dn dx minus dm dy over the enclosed area. Okay, that's Green's theorem. Now let's look at this, and you might have noticed, okay, it almost looks like we just added an extra integral here and here, but the problem is here we were doing f dotted with t over the curve. Here we're doing f dotted with n. So we can find another version. So this is Green's theorem. This is Green's theorem. It's the same thing, just different forms, but we can yet find another form of Green's theorem. What if, in, what if we applied Green's theorem to this thing, but instead of doing the integral of f dotted with t, we do the integral of f dotted with n ds. Okay, so if we look at this, and remember this is the same thing as this, this thing right here. If we're dotting this with the normal, when we dot it with the tangent, it's going to be dx dt and dy dt. But if we dot it with the normal, remember a normal is perpendicular to the tangent. So if you think about a change in y over a change in x, and you want something that's perpendicular, you've got to switch the x and the y and then make one of them negative. Okay, so we're going to do this. We're going to dot this. The normal would then be in the direction of dy dt um, negative dx dt dt. Okay, so multiplying this out, we get m dy minus n dx. Okay. And now from here, we're going to think about this in terms of Green's theorem, and we're going to apply Green's theorem. So this should be equal to the double integral. Before I do that, I'm going to rearrange these so the dx is first. So this is really opposite of n dx plus m dy is equal to the double integral. Just to not confuse you with that. So now what we do when we apply this theorem here, notice what we're doing. We start with this. And now we're going to do dn dx. The n is the thing with the dy. So we're really doing the derivative of this with respect to x. So that's dm dx. And then minus, and then we do dm dy. Well, the m is the thing that's with the dx. So we're doing minus the opposite of n. So that becomes a plus dn dy over the enclosed area. Okay. And if you look at this, now this is becoming more interesting because this thing really is, well, you can think of this as the ddx comma ddy dotted with mn. Okay. That should look familiar. That's del dotted with your vector field. And del dotted with your vector field is the divergence of f. Okay, which is equal to this thing, which remember what this was, it was this. It's the integral of f dotted with n ds. Okay, so what we have here, this is another version of Green's theorem. And if we take this thing right here, as is the f dot n ds, we make this three dimensions instead of two, we need to make it a double integral. Now it's f dotted with n. Instead of over d little s, it's now over d big s. Little s represents a curve, big s represents a surface. And now equals, and on this side, um, we have to make it three, a triple integral. The divergence of f, instead of over a region, it's now going to be over a volume, db. And this right here is the divergence theorem. Okay. So in the next video, we're going to do a couple of examples, and I'm going to show you how to apply this theorem.